Hello everyone, welcome back. Gemini's, it's the scene tarot. All right, so we're gonna jump into your bonus reading and see what we have for you. So if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. But if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. And if you guys are ready to take that next leap of faith, you can go ahead and email me at the scene tarot, the channel name at the scene tarot at gmail.com. We have three different packages available, the $25 read, which is for three questions and then we have the $55 read which is for 20 minutes and then we have the last package a $65 read which is for 30 minutes so if you guys are interested go ahead and send me an email those packages are going to be good until the end of this month and then we're going to create something new I feel like it's a I already have one promotion I don't have a lot for next month we'll see we'll see um but yeah <laughs> all right you guys let's just get into it all right, so let's just do a uh, past and present and future read, okay? I want to just stay focused. I can, I don't have to do it in that order, but I just want to stay focused with that and see what we have with the past, present, and future. So let's see what the past energy is. What's the past energy for gems? Ooh. Wow, so in the past, I definitely see there was a connection between you and this person that was moving very smoothly. For some of you that you guys talking about marriage or even engagement, I feel like this relationship felt very faded or felt very right. And something happened here where you just felt like, you know what, this is unfortunate. It became very challenging to you um, for some reason. So tell me more. Let's see. Ooh. Present energy. Wow, there's a lot of different cards coming out here. Okay. I feel like in the present moment, we have the seven of pentacles, we have the ten of pentacles, the death, and then we have the hermit. I definitely feel like in the present moment, you guys are stuck. You have the stuck energy. You don't know how to move on or how to move forward within your life. Um, I feel like there was a transition that happened between you and this person. This is what I'm seeing here. Now, you know, let's get back to the past because I definitely see an energy where it could have been marriage that was presented here because I'm seeing like engagement in marriage, even though there, it was very, very challenging for you and this person, even from the beginning, even from the beginning. This is what I'm hearing, very challenging energy in the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, right? But you still took that leap of faith because of the love that you guys felt for each other and the connection was just und undeniable, like you never felt anything like this before. And a lot of you stayed invested in this, even in the present moment, you're still invested in this, but this relationship is becoming to um, look like it's not going to work you know this relationship is coming is, is falling apart everything that you have invested or tried to you know m make look solid and make look firm like it's not going to be shook no matter what because you both have each other's back you're watching your foundation fall and crumble and a lot of you don't know what to do don't know what to do within scorpio's energy here you're very much in this stuck mode and holding on to this transition there is a transition happening and you're holding on to it so it's like you're not you're you're still a calip a cat a caterpillar oh my god i can't even say that caterpillar trying to turn into a butterfly but there is like this delay you know of what needs to happen and i feel like what's going on here is that this transition is not to end this relationship is to help it to make the foundation a stronger okay you guys are learning and i feel like what i'm seeing here like there is a lack of healing there's a lack of um knowing your truth knowing your worth something someone fell back here and i feel like your divine is trying to take you up in their wings and just get you back to that strong vi vibrant um you know being that you used to be i feel like your light is dimming within this connection and you um 
a lot of you might be losing yourself and your identity and this is important for you to get back to a strong place so you can make um, wiser decisions because you're going to have to make some decisions moving forward. There are some changes that are occurring that you're going to have to make decisions here. So what's the future energy? What's the future energy? Wow, give me four. I guess I should just start with four then. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands here. We also have the Empress in reverse for the future and the King of Cups in the future. So definitely a lot of you might just have kids with this person because I'm seeing someone expecting and it's like, ah, uh, bad timing. This is what I'm seeing here, okay? I feel like at this moment you can't tell this person how you feel or you're not safe you know sharing how you feel with this energy this is what i'm picking up here like you just don't feel emotionally secured within this relationship there are so many things that are hidden um you know you know what i'm, I'm also getting um lies will probably be built you know started this relationship up this is what I'm seeing because I'm seeing the seven of wands here. I'm seeing the page of pentacles like this person is not bringing in anything within this relationship. They're not giving back anything within this relationship in the future. And also there are so many things coming to the surface about what this person was hiding. So a lot of you were guarded or you wanted some information and this person was hiding things from you or trying to protect themselves from you um, or trying to protect you in this situation here um you're looking at this person as someone that you cannot depend on on trust too with the empress being in reverse here someone that is living off of you or trying to take everything from you you know and you just don't feel safe tell me about this two of cups please wow a lot of chapters need to be closed here a lot of chapters need to be closed it's not as bright as it looks out on on the surface right so there's a lot of physical and mental abuse that was going on within this connection this is what i'm picking up so this moved very quickly with engagement and marriage and it just but you saw the red flags within the wheel of fortune this is what i'm seeing here some challenges within the beginning of the relationship this is the past energy and also uh, there was some kind of um mental and physical agony that you was experiencing with this person's energy but yet you guys were together yet you guys look at each other as one yet you guys wanted to make this work this is what i'm seeing you're invested in in the present moment you know but yet Yet, all that investment is crumbling so let's see what we have let's see what we have here what's the energy wow this wants to come up number 12 every journey starts with a single step wow i can't show this card because it's nude and i'm going to get flagged on the channel um because it's nude <laughs> okay um yeah they're they're the youtube is crazy okay the cards it's crazy how we readers are going to get flags for you know cards that are apparent it's not even real bodies but even if even if it's a cartoon animated um person it's still flagged but this is looking really real real so i'm not gonna even do it <laughs> But I'm seeing number 12, you guys. So it says for your energy here, it says, Gemini, um, every journey starts with a single step. Every journey starts with a single step. So there's a, a journey that you need to take within. There is a call in that I'm seeing like someone like your divine is calling you, not someone your divine is calling you because there is a new beginning that needs to occur. I'm seeing butterflies around you within this card. OK, butterflies in your hair, butterflies around your body, your light, your spirit is so bright and they want that to remain bright. They don't want this experience to dim your light and they're trying to get you back into this journey. It's funny how it says every journey starts with a single step and here comes the journey. Here comes the journey. You are taking a journey in the hermit. You're going on top of that hill. You're going to find that place of solitude. You're going to find the answers that you seek within. Something you need to figure out. You need to figure out if this is the step for you if this is the life for you if this is something you want to still continue this is what i'm seeing here this is important you're trying to make the best decision for you this is what i'm seeing here so let's just get into the swatch okay uh, my own swatch here okay 
Woo! All right. So let's see, Gemini's. But I'm gonna keep this card though. Oh, I can't even show you. I keep thinking. I keep. I keep forgetting because I'm so used to it. Just showing you guys the card. Okay. What's going on with this energy? All right, for gems. What's going on with gems? What's the energy here for gems? Just want to shuffle and make sure it's shuffled. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Come on now. Come on now. Gems, the Scorpio, the death energy in reverse in reverse you are definitely stuck stuck energy you know re resisting this ending trying to fight for this ending here you don't you're not trying to fight for it. you're trying to hold on to a relationship that is pretty much going to end and i feel like what i'm supposed to tell you here is to let go and let god because you're going to make it more difficult for yourself um, Gemini's by holding on to something that is going to be moving that way regardless there is nothing that you can do at this moment because this transition needs to happen to make your relationship either stronger or either moving towards you know your own path okay all right so we have you releasing this energy thank you divine for that I do see you releasing this energy you're not going to hold on to it there's a decision that you need to make clearly now we have the devil energy here that is coming up in the three of swords so why is the three of swords here please clarify this three of swords because i'm seeing a severe broken heart like someone discovered something like this person betrayed you three of swords please clarify thank you wow two i got two so this person is coming towards you after they broke your heart. They're telling me that they're rushing back towards you. There's going to be an apology. This is why you have to let go and let God. Because things are going to happen, but things are not going to stay the same. You know, it, a transition is a transition. It's going to be, it's like a snake shedding its skin. You know, a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. You just have to let this happen. Okay, gems? But I'm seeing unfinished business here, especially with this toxic environment that I'm picking up here with this devil energy. Someone is very destructive, like they're sabotaging their own relationship here. Capricorn energy. Someone is playing games, mind games, picking up mind games. So this um, five of pentacles, I believe. I don't know i felt like we talked about this once before so this is coming to an end this coldness within this relationship we have the ten of pentacles here as well in reverse so this is going to be sorted out and when i say sorted out i feel like um this this is oh my god the decision that you guys are going to make is going to be made no matter what this this might mean um we have the nine of swords tell me more you are very fearful energy though somebody is this like really fearful of this change and what this ten of pentacles might mean the separation might mean i am definitely seeing like the emperor here in reverse as well a huge manipulation here someone is kind of like an older energy defeated energy this is what i'm seeing here someone that wants to be in control over you this is a toxic vibe that i'm picking up someone very toxic i'm seeing like mixed feelings about this relationship i'm hearing a yes and i'm hearing a no that it might work you know it's like because i'm seeing the 11 11 here okay i'm seeing like this fulfillment i'm seeing like this is what you want you know and this is what you want your future your future to look like with this person but right now you're going through this severe heartache 
with this energy. Why is Gemini stuck? Tell me more about this death energy. What is this about? This king of wands energy in reverse because this person is very hard to deal with. This person doesn't want to take responsibility. They don't want to lead towards success. They don't want to be successful in this relationship. At least this is what they're putting out to you. So this is why you just don't understand. Like you feel quite confused about the matter. You're like, damn, everything that we have built and you're willing to throw it away. Okay. Tell me more, please. The Gemini's energy. I'm seeing depression. Someone is in depression here. Someone is worried about something that they can't change. Again, that is your energy. That's the source. That's you, gems. Your energy is low right now. And this is what worries the universe because you're not supposed to be a low vibration. All right, so tell me more. I got two. I picked up two here. Heaven sent, number three. I feel like everything is going to be okay with the heaven sent card. I feel like you're going to be guided. You're going to be protected. I feel like a lot of you are seeing things or dreams and just feeling things, you know, feeling this peace, even though you're going through so many trials and tribulations. And I feel like you don't understand this feeling because it's like, as soon as you feel it, you go back to this worry, you go back to this um, doubt because you're just like, Oh my God, what was that? I don't know, but this is not what's happening. This is why am I feeling this way? Um, I feel like your your angels are trying to keep you clear-minded. Again, it's like definitely um, an energy where you're going to have to make decisions, okay? This is what I'm seeing here. And you, you're going to have to be clear-minded within this, all these decisions that you're going to have to make. Now, I'm seeing butterflies again. Wow, you've just seen these beautiful hands and butterflies and just, just new beginnings here for you. Blessings, transformation, you guys what oh, okay so we have number 33 and number 12 and this one is number 17 all right so it says what is already with you what is already with you i feel like your divine is already with you your angels are already with you your abundance is already yours and signed for i feel like what is keeping this is your thinking your your mind your way of thinking your beliefs the way you th see things now within this stage of your life, I feel like anything, anything could be yours, you know? Um, and I feel like they're asking you a question here. What is already with you? Wow. I feel like is abundance. You know, you have it all. You have it all. You have new beginnings that are coming up for you. Hmm. Okay, one more, one more. I feel like everything is being worked out here for you. There's a journey that you need to take and you can't take it with other people. This journey you're gonna have to take on your own. Okay, this journey you're gonna have to take on your own. I felt like this card wanted to come out here. <laughs> All right, okay, let's see here. This is a beautiful card, number 26. Okay, it says relax the hold of darkness. Okay, relax the hold of darkness. And I feel like a lot of you are in this way of depression, stress, anxiety, you're living in this darkness. Okay. And this is a constant thing, especially with the nine of swords. And your angels are telling you to relax your divine is telling you to relax. Okay and be at the cause of things and just like really just be that person to assist to help to be of service to do other things to think to think positively um 
and change your way of thinking and turn this into a positive mindset or positive situation what can you do in this darkness how can you make it light you know be that beacon of hope be that beacon of light look at how you're in this space of darkness and here you are this light just gets you up because this is when you start thinking positively you start thinking um like things are going to be okay. Like there's nothing that's going to touch you. There's no evilness that's going to come upon you. Like you just have to stay into this light so the energies can move faster. And this is what I'm picking up with that. But thank you, Divine, for all these lovely messages for Gemini's. All right, so let's continue our read in here. Wow. So you have number 23, 17, 33, and 12. Ooh. all right so tell me more Ooh. all right so we have the temperance oh my god divine timing your angels are showing up here okay we also have the six of cups in reverse so there's a close energy between you and this person again there is some memories there is some like feelings that this person still have for you uh i'm feeling like this person is saying they knew you for a while that's also coming up here but i'm also feeling like this this situation change and shift within you you know you're looking at this person as dag this person could hurt me you know kind of vibe here if I don't, if I forget to at, tell you guys, happy holidays. <laughs> Your girl is in a cave, okay? She's not really, you know, out and about. But happy holidays, okay? For those of you, be safe out there and enjoy the time, okay? All right, so we have the Seven of Wands here and we have the High Priestess, okay? So I'm definitely seeing that... Whatever this is, you're so like, it's like you were worried or stuck, but at the end of it all, you're going to be okay. You're going to tap into spirituality. A lot of you are going on this journey alone. This is what I'm seeing, and you're coming out on top. And you, you might not see it in this moment, but this is what's occurring. Now, this person, I don't know, like someone here wants a future, someone here doesn't. You know, someone here is very hurt. Um, this is the energy that I'm picking up. Like, wow. It's like they don't see a future. The 1111 is off. The fulfillment is not the same. Like, this connection with me and you holding hands and cuddling next to the TV is just not happening. This doesn't, it doesn't feel right. This is awkward. You know what I mean? Even the conversation. Like, something here is just different. Different vibe. Different vibe. Tell me about this 10 of cups in reverse, please. Why is this energy like this? Because you're going to choose your light. I feel like you're a nurturing person. You're a kind person. And this is what your people are seeing. It's similar to this beautiful number 12. I can't even show you the 12. I keep going back to the 12. But it's something like this. You know, this beautiful card. All right. Okay, I'm just going to put it back here because I realize that like, this is new to two. <laughs> oh my God, this is probably going to get age restricted as well because, but it's like this beautiful light, this divine light as it's just showing up, like you're showing up as this divine light, right? And you know, like this is you. It's like you tapped out of being this energy of being different. And because I feel like what happened within this um, energy with this um, relationship is like this person kind of made you not you know nobody can make you but i feel like this person kind of can control your moods you know because you depended on this person to keep you happy and the thing about it you can never never depend on someone to keep you happy you have to know how to keep yourself happy um within your life you know um that way you can be strong enough to assist each other especially when someone is down and then you're up and so you can assist and then that person is up and then you're down and then they can assist you so i feel like you're trying to protect your bliss and your light at this moment you're trying to be very nurturing and kind this haven't changed you and how you see things so thank god for that this is what i'm hearing 
so you're still the same you're trying to save yourself <laughs> from this connection you're trying to save yourself tell me about this um six of cups energy divine what's going on with this one the six of cups clearly this person can stop thinking about you there are so many memories pictures going through their phones right now messages text messages i feel like there is like a communication is off between you and this person like it might not even be that i don't see i see like you're going to be talking to this person and putting your feet down but i felt like that was the earlier swatch right and suddenly so tell me about this Excuse me. Ooh, judgment in reverse. Okay, so they haven't made a decision, and I feel like they're being taught something. They're being judged. Well, not quite yet. I feel like you have to make a decision based on this person. Like your your mind is already set. It's very powerful. You you're get you're ta you're you're make you're taking back your power. You know you're not. This person never had it, and this is the shade to them. Like they thought they did, but. I'm seeing like you're keeping in this open door to this person. So the, the angels are waiting. Funny thing about how the angels came in your reading twice over. With this judgment here and also with this temperance. They're saying time to take your time to heal. Time to take your time to heal. Because, you know, the hermit energy, you know, it's there. <sighs> like I felt like you had to go on this journey to heal but it's going to take time wow the start in reverse you don't want to talk to this person what is this information okay so we have the lovers here okay we also have the ace of swords so there's a huge download like i said that's happening and then this person is definitely holding on to this connection this is what i'm seeing here so why is this um lovers what is this lovers energy it's like you found out something there's going to be a breakthrough what is this lovers energy The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this, it's it's like you were losing yourself, but this person wasn't what you thought. Tell me more. This person wasn't what you thought. Yeah, okay, wow, the two of cups. I kind of knew something like that was gonna happen so the lovers are two of cups so they're sleeping with someone else that's what this is they're sleeping with someone else the ace of swords is here there is going to be some kind of information and truth that is going to be coming towards you again i don't feel like it's this person giving you this news i feel like this this is the universe giving you the news that you need okay but you got to get prepared because this is this person is going to come with a force of energy that they're not going to want to give up on this connection on this relationship i feel like they're going to want to work things out they're coming to you with this force of energy this um like you know this i want to uh, it's like this fear of letting you go or this fear of losing you you know they want to really work towards this relationship and this is what they should have had um before this is what i'm hearing like they should have had the same energy before the back the sun wow leo's energy you guys you are definitely tapping into the sun you're protecting your sun you're protecting your bliss you're protecting your light this is very important to you i don't know why it keeps getting dark on this phone but this is very important to you like you want to protect this energy you want to be happy you want to remember when you were a kid and you were just happy and free and blissful and smiling and just laughter and living life and um what i'm seeing here is that with this energy a lot of you fell in love really early got married really early got in a real relationship very young didn't have time to really be free and really be blissful and experience things 
and now the situation is like okay you this this contract you got you're getting a little comfortable in this contract and you're not really learning what we want you to be here to learn so a transition is happening okay and it's for you it's for you to shine again It's for you to be happy again It's for you to live again It's for you to be free again and to know that you can go ahead and do anything that you ever wanted but this is what I have for you guys I hope that it resonates if it does you know what it is like this video give this video a big thumbs up on the channel and I'll see you guys in your next read bye guys